Okay, for all you sexy fire signs, planet Mars, which has two signs ruled by it. I know, it's Leo season, but I still feel like all of the fire signs are very in sync with each other's energy. And I feel like you guys maneuver through each other's energy as one pertains to be mutable, one is fixed, one is cardinal. And I feel like y'all maneuver through each other's ways of doing things beautifully. It's like, it's in sync. It's a beautiful circle. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a centric rock star C. And I don't have, I feel like I'm on a channel as I go for this reading. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Now there is a, a card that did flip over. It's called the, the Diviner. Divine timing and evaluation. So... You've been taking the actions needed to achieve your desired outcome, and right now, nothing more can be done to hurry it into fruition. So let's stop right there, because what I, the card that I use to further amplify that is calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You know how they say in religion, when you ask God for something you really, really want, you go to him, and then once you pray about it, you leave it alone. That's the energy is giving. So then I got the Chiromancer, delivering news and collaboration. So you have a message to deliver or something that you've been meaning to say for a while, but it may not be the message that someone is ready to receive per se. So you, you're, you're being led to be careful about how you deliver it. We're talking about fire signs right now. We just... Fire signs say it how they feel it. It's, even if your your Mercury is in a fire sign, like if you have fire in anywhere in your in your chart, take it how it resonates. Like especially if your third house or Mercury is in a fire sign, you're going to say it how you feel it. No exceptions. So Something about you being careful on how you want to deliver it and choosing your time carefully. The outcome may depend entirely on you. And then what's clarifying that is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you dump somebody or separated yourself from everyone that you... I feel like you have a clear and concise mentality about who you feel like you should be with. And I feel like... It may not directly be infused like with business, but according to your the nature of your business, you want somebody that's going where you're going. Let me see something. Shuffle for Leo and all fire signs. See? See what I'm saying? I told you. Analyze and inspire. Flipped over together. So analyzing is about researching your market. This is my entrepreneur deck. So you're researching your market and analyzing your competition, period. Decide how you're going to make better offers and provide more value than everyone else. I don't feel like you hang around people who are like that. They don't think enough of themselves or just too lazy to do the work. Or you could have met someone who knows how to manage and do those kind of things. The only problem is you don't see a future with them. It's some kind of flaw, okay? And then you got inspire, influence. When you become influential in your field, you, you inspire people to step in their own greatness because you rose to your own first. So you definitely have that away with people right now. You are a leader in that leadership position. So what's on the bottom is train. So you're exercising daily to keep your body and spirit strong, healthy, and full of energy. You need to build a business. I'm definitely talking to entrepreneurs we call in all entrepreneurs right now because the people who have all the accountability and all the odds the chips stacked up against you whether the chips are stacked up against you or you just taking all the risk this is who i'm talking to so some of you based off your actions is calling in your soulmate or you just have a premonition of who your soulmate is Somebody, you're, I feel like you're divinely led to them. And I feel like with the diviner, the way this person, like it look like a little sprout of a leaf. You planted a seed and it's gradually coming into fruition. 
I was gonna say I heard watch your man then you can watch your mouth I heard that very clearly so I don't know if someone's trying to argue with you because their man is like I split the deck share a video marketing get your message out reach more people and develop deeper connections with your audience through video let them get to know the real you somebody is watching your content and somebody wants to pop off to you because because of what they notice they notice a change I see change I see change in somebody I see change in people I see the change in you I see the progress in you I see accolades I see you, you could be getting flowers with thank you cards okay and the cards still wanted to flip over share and marketing your video marketing make content and then we're also flipped over I don't know why the cards are flipping out two at a time because the other card is slow down sometimes you need to slow down and get out of the overwhelm refresh and regroup in order to speed up your results that's why everything you're doing right now is all you can do right now just keep doing it like your prayers your affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so you have an idea of who you who you who wants to marry you and even though you're the one manifesting you have the premonition of who wants to marry you and you're pursuing it I heard a million girls would kill for this job. A million girls would kill for this position. So this person wants to marry you. This person could come off in a way that's you almost they not I don't want to say smug, but they're very reserved. They don't want to they don't talk a lot. Or they hold they can hold an intellectual conversation, don't get me twisted, but they're not the chatty Cathy of the group. Somebody's been waiting for you. So we got cordon blue. You can be see if you're seeing birds, Weber of the mind. If you're seeing birds coming to you, this is like my King of Swords kind of card in this deck. And then you got Weber of the mind, like a web with a spider on it. Weber of the mind, King of Swords. It's like somebody saying, it's like God is sending birds and like affirmations and like signs of synchronicities. Don't forget to pray. Okay. Your prayers, your affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together. It's, it's like God is working to keep you on track with what you've manifested because it already is in fruition. For so much of it is in fruition already. And it's happening. Don't do anything to derail it or slow it down. And you have to tell somebody to leave to get it I feel like as a test of loyalty not to the person but to you know to you to what you what you hold to be true what you believe to be true and and to the most high the most high sets you up all you got to, I mean in a good way it's like you take the first step I got you but you got to relinquish XYZ people places things that's what I'm saying I also feel like he's giving you a, a cut above your cut above the rest by way of the the pearls of wisdom in your expertise like the the education that you come to the table with as it pertains to what you're doing professionally it's going to I feel like people you're you're going to be high you're high in demand uh, for your expertise excuse me I can vouch You see that? You heard that? That's the school bus. So you you could be you could be in in school about for something, but you can also be schooling people. And so much of what you've been through already, as it pertains with the Weber of the mind, people could have been trying to spin you into thinking you don't have what it takes. You ain't got it like that. I feel like you were put down kind of blackballed in a way anyway like people counted you out what they didn't understand is you don't fit into anybody's boundary box you are original authentic 
like I'm looking at the way this bird is looking at this spider on the web it's like they're trying to convince this person this person and it's dark like somebody could be like harsh with their words or their, their tongue is like a double ended sword or could have spoke behind your back I see that Shuffle, Julio, and all fire placements. I'm gonna put these right here. You got you're the one with the means to travel. You're the one with the means to seek a bigger education. So how were you wrong? Something like that. I feel like this pertains to your business a lot. I just feel like you speak from a happy space and a peaceful space to the point where it's like, don't let any, don't mess it up. Like, keep going. You're doing, I like, I've, I'm moving stuff out the way for you. And I'm making things very easy for you. Bring love into the situation. Someone wants your forgiveness. And that's a time to give rather than a time to take. It's clarifying that. Give, I heard give love on Christmas Day. Somebody, it would be, and I say that to say, I, I practice Islam, but that song popped in my head. I grew up Baptist, so I, I know all the, the Christmas songs. Why did that song pop in, it just popped in my head. So this is nostalgia. This could be your family, you know, as it would relate to me. It would be like relatives reminiscing. It was like, I would feel like a kid on Christmas Day if you could just find a way to kind of like forgive and soften your heart. Start over maybe. It's a time to let's bring peace. Let's make peace. Someone is like very analytical about this because Aquarius and Virgo is I don't want to say a stoic, but can be. But this is serious energy. This is somebody who's very serious. Or someone, I also see where someone could have double-crossed you, and now they want your forgiveness. Because, honestly, it feels, it's giving, if you weren't in a position that you're in, like a, a position that pertains to success, and I feel like a lot of it is your soulmate coming in, you got the beauty, brains, and bronze, so you got the, the money, the, the, the man, you look good kind of thing you know what I mean and it's like now somebody feels bad someone could have left you for a relative or cheated on you with a relative or cheated on you with a best friend you know that kind of scenario uh, and then I'll, I'm flipping over it it's time to release negativity Scorpio energy I feel like you did and at the bottom the end of a tough cycle approaches maybe it took you a while to forgive or you just walked away gracefully even if you were angry you walked away but it's time to let it go i feel like you did let it go so that's starting someone's karmic retribution like the guilt i feel i heard the guilt is eating them alive for what they did and i heard miranda from sex in the city and she is a fucking bitch for making you feel that way so you can have a, a, a strong friend in your corner or someone who doesn't know all the facts or just really speaks from a subjective space instead of an objective one. You got somebody got some some cronies around them. You dig? And I say that to say that was season six. Carrie went to a party and that was hosted at someone's house. She required everybody to take off their shoes. So when Carrie took her shoes off, someone stole her shoes. She you know she wore Manolo Blahniks and Jimmy Choo's and all those expensive five hundred a pair on average type of shoes and I think she said that the shoes cost $525 and the lady you know somebody stole her shoes the lady gave her like some old busted up sneakers to wear and I remember Carrie said they showed it they cut to the scene where Carrie's walking home in the shoes and they said you shouldn't judge a person until you've walked a mile in their shoes she said I made it about six blocks before she took the shoes off and started walking barefoot like that is not her like you will not catch me dead wearing some old ass sneakers when i wear manolos every goddamn day now how does this protest bring this full circle 
someone and then uh she went to the lady and said you know my shoes were stolen at your house she was like you know what she was acting oblivious and aloof with carrie like oh shit i should have offered to pay you nah bitch you think you dig like somebody needs to somebody needs to apologize to you and you're standing your ground on getting that apology okay we can't move forward nowhere out of respect of you need to you need to take accountability for your actions Okay, and the lady, and she, lady wrote, pulled out her checkbook, and Carrie was like five hundred and twenty-five dollars, and the lady was like, "Wow, like that's that's a lot." She was like, "Well, that's what they cost," and then the lady was making her feel awkward, like she wanted Carrie to back down. Carrie is like, "This is like really awkward. Like we supposed to be friends, you know?" And the lady, she, the lady was like. That is a lot to pay on shoes. She was like, no offense, Carrie. It was your choice to pay that much for shoes. She was like, but it wasn't my choice to take them off. And she was like, they're just shoes. And that's where I heard the part. Miranda was like, she's a fucking bitch. And she was like, no, she isn't. She just, it's like she had a baby and she got a family. She got married. And it's like she became this whole other person. She legally she owes you for those shoes, you dig, and she was right. So legally somebody did you wrong. Legally somebody does owe you an apology. You dig what I'm saying? And Carrie kept following up with the lady, and the lady was like, "You must have a lot of time on your hands." Like she was like real, being real bitchy to Carrie. It's like okay, it got to a point where Carrie was like, "I'm getting married." It's like it's almost like she she was shunned, like she wasn't a part of the cool club because she wasn't married. She was single and she can afford to buy Manovo Blondes. So Carrie got real savvy with her and was like, "Well, listen." I'm getting married, okay, and I'm registered at Manolo Blonics, okay? Oh, wait, I'm skipping a part. And the initial meeting where she was like, Carrie was like, you used to wear Manolo Blonics. You know how much they cost? She was like, yeah, that's before I had a real life. Wow. That's what she, that's what, that's why Miranda said she was being a bitch. Like, that's before I had a real life. Like, I have kids, I have a mortgage, like, I just, that's can't afford to buy those i'm not buy. she thought it was stupid to buy manolo blondes after having a family and stuff just admit it you don't you partnered up with somebody it's supposed to increase your income what i'm getting from that is she got married and settled down and act like she's acting like her priorities are different but what it really is is with the mortgage and my two kids i can't just buy manolo blondes no more so she's limited in a way Somebody feel slighted, you dig? Because when you get with somebody, you supposed to, it's supposed to be an upgrade, not a, a you know, not a, a limited, a limited thing. It's supposed to be full toward, not limited toward, full access because you have money and that person has money. It shouldn't even be an issue. You dig what I'm saying? So now does somebody want to apologize because now that you have a new person, in divine timing you called in your soulmate and you stayed optimistic about your love life um you can afford to buy manolo blondes with seven fucking kids on your hips seven with a husband and a mansion and cars all over the fucking place you did like you can afford that you do afford that you know you made that life for yourself you know, the only thing that was missing for a while was the man. So I, what I'm seeing in my premonition is it's a, 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 a journey, like a, a long a long road. It's not too wind, windy, but it's a little bit of curve here and there sporadically in the road to your success. But this is as you, as you obtain millions, you dig, as you obtain at least six figures, you know, as you, you're not in a five figure bracket, you're at least worth eight to nine hundred grand. You dig what I'm saying? Every so many months. So that could go into the millions. Every, like, I feel like the, 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 the schedule, like the yearly schedule, it doesn't go by 12 months. Like every average of six or seven months, you see an M or something like that. It goes like that, where you on a different vesting schedule, where if you want to buy Manolo Blahniks or you're a shoe fanatic like that, and you want to spend $700 on shoes, you could do that. Somebody thought the grass was greener over there with this motherfucker, or they thought they was slighting you, spiting you. You have a lot of men that are jealous of you. It's more than the women. And they get they go with weak women to team up against you. Like, that's a thing. That has become a thing. And 
everybody thought it was he he ha ha because you was single and you was grinding and you built up the empire the life that they don't have it just looks pretty on paper you dig like a doctor good on paper bad in bed kind of thing i don't know if the person's bad in bed or not i don't think you slept with the person or if you did they weren't your person nonetheless because your person is an inspiration your person is influential your person is analytical your person might be a little sapiosexual these people are together and they got kids or a kid or a couple kids and it's like i feel like i see blended families i see each party came together with an already established whether you had one to two kids or this person had kids from a previous situation this person had a kid from a previous situation then they got together and they had more kids kind of thing you and your new person you have seven kids with just that person regardless of if they came to the table with kids and you came to the table with kids i said i heard seven in specific that's how fertile that's how hot and bothered and hot and passionate you and your new person is all you have to do is just be patient and continue training and exercising daily to keep your body and your spirit strong healthy and full of energy you need to build your business so you spent a lot of time minding your business less you weren't very interested in relationships or just getting to know people because you were that kind of laser focus and those results are paying off meanwhile people are like going around behind your back or kind of like nosing around like they thought they took something from you and they are very they have limited tour they are the lady who was trying to shoe shame carrie like the, no offense carrie but it was your choice to spend that kind of money on shoes and like she said it's like but it wasn't my choice to take them off so i see another premonition where you make peace with the people they kind of awkward around you at first because they got to look you in the face with the fuck shit that they did to you but they feel like it was a scapegoat that you showed up well you showed up by yourself so it kind of they didn't expect to see you maybe it's a part maybe they invited you to the party and oh okay 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 i got it i got it i got it because i saw this premonition in my dream they're together they're married they have some kids together they invite you they make bygones be by let's talk bygones be bygones wrong grease ball snake shit or so they thought they're delivering news and collaboration okay with a divine timing and evaluation okay they're inviting you to a gathering at the home right and you may not have lost your shoes per se i'm just i just it adds to my point you may not have lost your shoes but you see things that they didn't want to say but they were trying to find the right way to say it so now it clicks to you what your intuition and your premonitions were at that time it's like okay these people are acting goofy towards me because they were being two-faced the whole fucking time they were together the whole fucking time they couldn't the man couldn't go out with you or the man couldn't take you serious because he was taking it he was fucking your your friend or fucking your sister and they end up getting married or something like that he, they trap it's a it's a i don't want to say a trauma bond but i think it is a little bit of a trauma bond but it's karmic in a way where it's like how you thought the grass was greener on the other side so you go to this party you successful they don't know you got your person yet you dig or as one of those high high-end parties where you see a lot of like celebrities there is one scenario where you meet your person there and it's another scenario where you already met your person and they met you there take it how it resonates so they looking awkward or they acting awkward it's like if y'all was so right you know if your moral compass pointed north with in the way you know base and, and you base your decision off of your moral compass pointing north at least do it with some integrity you wouldn't need to feel awkward but they feel that way in front of you like they didn't expect that they thought they had their game plan and a game face on and you're one of those heightened into intuitive people as to where you can see you can read right through people and they know that they now know that because they can't stand in front of you and look you in your eyes for more than two fucking seconds they're shifting around they're nervous but they're standing together and they expecting you to maybe feel away or crumble. Maybe they thought you might and you didn't. So they delivered this and it's like, I didn't want to tell you that way, but I thought it'd be, you know, we let bygones be bygones. You know, real cocky, you know, we let bygones be bygones. You standing there with my motherfucking friend or my sister or my cousin or some shit like that. You standing there with my, with my alleged 
you know, farce friends and family and you're acting like we're going to let, well, yeah, you're right. And you such a, you such a, a <laughs> somebody got Gemini in their chart. Because I was about to say, you such a Gemini, you just a Gemini bunch of shit. Maybe you got Gemini somewhere in your chart, Leo Diamond, or any fire placement. But you like, yeah, let, roll with that shit. Because you, you, you pretty witty. You know, you can tell they insecure. You can tell they teamed up, they was trying to break you. They tried to tag team you. You dig? Your person walk up behind you. Like, they, they talking to you about your success. You know, this is at this point of the conversation. You never argued. You never broke fly. You never broke sweat. You never let them see you cry because the truth is, you don't have a reason to cry. Okay? You're successful. You know, not moved past all the shit. You probably forgot about the shit. Along, you know, you forgot about the premonitions until you saw them again. Like, oh, shit, the plot thickens. Look at these motherfuckers. Like, you looking at them crazy. Like, you, you, you just... You just a firecracker and your person walk up and when they realize who your person is you dig it's like they look like clowns in front of you and your person so let's talk about delivering news and collaboration and shit it's like i ain't want to be you know there's no reason you don't have no reason to tell people about your life if you left them behind but they so intrigued about your life, you know, you stand, now your person stands there calling in your soulmate your person. It's like on this picture, he's walking, he's, she's praying and he's right behind her. So I see that premonition where he's right behind you while you're talking. And he's, you don't know, he's, you kind of feel somebody's behind you, but because people everywhere. And I feel like your person has Gemini in their chart. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> You sitting in these motherfuckers' face watching them be pricks. It's like, you looking at them like, thank God you blew it. Thank God I dodged a bullet. You are the best thing I never had. Like, this is so fucking cool to me to see y'all together. Like, it's throwing them off that you that kind of Rico Suave, you that kind of cool. Because you release negativity. You don't give two fucks. Because you wanted to be successful in your own life. In your own, you don't have time to worry about what somebody's doing behind your back. You too busy getting at your own success. So... The end of a tough cycle approach is like you was you saw all that shit and it's like channel that energy. I feel like you alchemist that energy with the full moon in Scorpio. I feel like in the and that's clarified by the full moon in, in Capricorn. Man, that's where your focus is. Your focus is alchemist that energy and laser focus and build something stable for yourself. It really had nothing to do with other people. It's just that they was clowning and they was goofy and they was trying to play with you. Only to fuck around and find out. You a whole rock star. They, they, you famous at this point. So they feel like you shouldn't even be mad. Because you successful. Like trying to flip the shit on you. Like trying to avoid accountability. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? And your person was standing behind you. He walks up. He put his arms around you. Your person likes to hug and kiss you from behind. Your new soulmate. Okay? And they got to watch you do all that shit. You know? Bringing it full circle. The point I was making about the Manolo Blahniks. You talking about buying all these different shoes and stuff, and it's like they're trying to like make you feel like you being crazy for wasting money. When in actuality, they thought they would be living a dream like that, but they don't have a lot of money. Like they're, they, I feel like they made a lot of sacrifices going with each other, and it didn't pay off. Like I feel like it backfired in some ways. Like it took a financial hit. This this person could have married this person. Cause they they had money or this person's pulled them in because they had money it's like it, what should have been a creative endeavor end up being the baby screaming you stressed out the dad is not getting no sleep he goes to work all day he comes home the baby screaming the woman is stressed out the person who you know they stabbed you in the back so they they deserve that stress like you deserve that dick they deserve that stress and that's just that's just it you dig what i'm saying so I hope you're following my, my premonition. It's like I, I explained it the best way I know how, but I'm liking this premonition for you because they watch your content. They are responsible. If you took like if you saw like slowdowns in your in your work or your results and things like that, like I feel like you were moving at warp speed, you know, because you got to balance yourself. Training your, your body to be in shape, to be fit for what you're doing is the best thing you can do mentally because you got a lot of accountability on yourself somebody crapped out like they could have been multifaceted people or one or both of them could be entrepreneurs but they ain't hitting it ain't a hit like you so i feel like the the tables turn where they thought your business wasn't a hit for you and they thought they was doing something big you surpassed them 
by two to I see two commas, two commas later. Like you got some money. You dig what I'm saying? But you got some money from you being laser focused, not fucking around, you know, you know, bullshit and shit. And your person like that about you. Your person see you you stop you solid and you headstrong. <laughs> Very fucking headstrong. It's like they can't make this motherfucker cry if they fucking farce ass marriage or connection dependent on it. So delivering the news, they see you in a successful space and your person is is very successful like you too. So they busy counting your millions talking about no offense, but is your is you buying all these shoes and stuff and you got all them kids, why is you buying all them shoes? It's like you pay more than that in luxury tax. If you don't spend the money, you're going to pay more than that in luxury tax. It's that kind of conversation. Like, they look they look stupid. They probably somewhere in the six figures to a million. You and your person is worth 10 to 15 million a piece? That's 30 M's. That, wow. Because I said that in another reading. I saw 30 M's. And that could be it. That could be why. Or well, at least at the time, y'all let bygones, y'all make amends, y'all finally meet up to make bygones be bygones. There's 30 M's on your side to that 600 to 1.5 M on their side. And it's all one person. It's not the other person. It's this other person crapped out, end up being a stay-at-home type of spouse with the kids. And a man still coming home stressed out because they feel dumb. It's like, you know you feel dumb because... You sold yourself short, trying to be fucking funny. Yeah, well that was deep eccentric. Like you had to say all that shit or from your premonition. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk more about you because you the shit, and that's the only thing you smell about you in these parts, in these parts of town. Shuffle. Leo and all fire placements, all fire signs, because they done grouped together like you got me fucked up if you think this is a concern. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. What this says is like two people trying to like connect, but in the upright, it came out in reverse. I don't know why, but it, okay, the whole deck is upside down. But we're gonna read this in reverse. In the upright, it's talking about having a multitude of friends or having a, a broad presence on a social media platform but you don't really connect with people like that because you you know there's no real human connection you're missing that human element because it has currents between this person and this person between your hands like electrical currents you're missing that human contact but it's in reverse okay so you obviously put yourself out there in a way where yeah, you was busting your ass to get your job, to get your work done. But what's clarifying that is morning dew. Clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook. You don't have to commit to people. You can be friends. If you even want to be friends. But a morning dew, a clarity. You have that mental clarity. You have a fresh start, a positive outlook. I feel like you look at every hour like that. I heard that. And then you got, I remember, soul playing. The faded life versus the destiny life. That was almost your life. If the motherfucker, like, you was too strong for that to be your life. But if they, you know, I don't want to commit, like, inconspicuous shirt. Like, saying, if this didn't happen, this would be. I don't mean to say it like that. But clearly, you were shown heaven and hell in a, in, in a way. Like, you were given a premonition. If you go this way, this is what you're going to get. If you go this way, if you stay on this path and deal with all that it endures, like you dealt with a lot. That's it's heavy emphasis on you dealing with shit that is like you don't look like too much of what you've been through. You dig, but listening to you speak, you have life experience. You have a lot of life experience. And it's one of those experiences where it's like you're, you're being shown the way. You have been shown the way, and that was the clarity and the fresh start. You have the sun joy enjoyment life force success vitality and play because you got your grandmothers with you you remember your roots it's perspective and you trust the weavings it's like they did not open these doors for us to crap out like needy chicks and take that as it resonates it could be a man or a woman like needy chicks you're not a needy chick okay 
they didn't they didn't create these opportunities or set the stage for you to perform for you to crap out just to say you're doing something just to try to shit on somebody else it's like real petty energy like where the fuck is all the grudges and i think they analyzed you wrong clearly they didn't research you very well they don't know you well enough they thought they thought they thought and deep cellular healing came out in reverse physical and emotional healing i told you they trauma bonded that's them that's them them bitches over there and we are the Heathers. Deep love, mother's milk, birth is a portal. It's something about their mother. It could have a narcissistic mother or a mother who struggles through uh, instabilities or just emotionally unavailable. Could have been arrogant, pompous, obnoxious type of mother figure that they had. And they don't know how to love properly on account of it, in the face of it. So you decided to become besties and be trauma bonded together. You don't do your healing. You just go with each other because sometimes some things, my father said this a long time ago. Some, some things are harder for some than others. You stood out there by yourself. It's a far cry is what I'm getting. It's a far cry to faded life versus destiny life. You grew up the same, some type of a way. Your ops grew up some type of a way and they only your ops because they made themselves your op. Y'all all, but you you're different you stayed optimistic about your love life and i say that as a broad interpretation your whole life every aspect of your life you calling in your soulmate is your soul tribe too it don't have to be just romantic it's the right people that's going to respect you and love you and support you not people who want to backbite you and smile on your face and be clowning you for your progress for you doing the work and they ain't doing jack shit but sucking dick whether it be metaphorical, quite literal. All right, eccentric. You can look, eccentric will let it out for you. I mean, you know, I don't give a fuck. Who don't like it? What are they gonna do? Flag my video? Deter people from watching it? How about you have to be watching it to know what the hell I'm saying? So maybe that ain't nothing but the truth here. You dig what I'm saying? Now, let's talk some more about you. It's really about you. So you got a first response, a first look on what it takes to be an influencer. You end up being an influencer. Rest. Rest and rejuvenate. You got play have fun celebrate don't be so serious that's the the mindset i feel like you change your mind and change your life in a lot of ways on the bottom you got abundance planning someone could be 43 or that could break down to a seven or your life path number could be a seven personal life path number could be a seven and you got one somebody's life path number is a one abundance planning like on this picture it got a cat on it with fish heightened intuition you know you know how to manifest okay you it's like you it's like on the, the way she's writing this paper out it's like all her expenses her education her business self-development savings travel like she's planning it for what it's going to cost somebody likes white nail polish on their nails or just going through a phase where they like white nail polish or that's the circle that you're in everybody likes to wear white polish or as a rock star you either it's like you wear black or white polish somebody likes white polish Keep track of your finances like you, and rest. You sleep to heal. The point of sleeping is to heal your body after what you put it through and having fun. Like, honestly, from how it looked from your perspective, you have never been so happy. And then you got the priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? That's why I feel like you and your person is. is both of y'all are ethereal as well as math savvy i have to say it like that because something as it pertains with with money you know how to make money you're very good with making money sometimes you might blow it sometimes like overspending you know having a lot of fun but you're good with making money somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side where they went and thought that it was a lot more money it didn't turn out like that they're not living a bad life but this person could be a cheapskate this person is frugal about money or just very rigid energy. It's like, it's not the party lifestyle you thought you was going to live. That's for the person who played you out. And you the one end up having fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious. So it's like the roles, it's like the tables turn. It's like where you could have been more introverted, but that's because you was trying to build something. And 
you end up going out, you change your energy. And everybody like you because you're a priestess, because you're very spiritual. And like that heightened intuition, you have a lot of, you have a lot to talk about. You can converse with the best of them because I'm just a talk, 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 talk. You know, I ain't shut up yet. But as it pertains to the message, I just feel like your energy is different. For the, the room full of vultures, your energy is very different. People like you. Like they, they want to be around you. They want to hang with you. They, they, they really like get down with you like that. Like they cool with you. Like they think you're a rare breed. You're popular. That's what I want to say. You're very popular. And um, it, it's not hard to make friends with you. And it's this lighthearted, playful energy. You're a fire sign. You're very playful anyway. Very flirty. People always gravitate to the fire signs. And the earth signs. But I like your reading. Alright. Let's keep going. Shuffle for Leo. Oh, you who arrange for you, Cephalus, arrange my affairs for me. You fix my condition and provide for me. And he did that. Because you got a lot of M's to play with. You can buy the Manolo Blahniks and put all them nice clothes on all seven of your kids. And the seven kids is y'all's together. Like you got a bigger family, but you got a you got more money. Like it don't it ain't a struggle to have those seven kids. Now, I don't even include if you came to the table with some kids and they came to the table with some kids, y'all are it for each other. It's like it gives me it's it's like a Pisces Virgo dynamic. It it feels like that. You know, protect me from the evil of your creation. So while everybody was clowning you, you were being protected from the evil of these Nazi ass people thinking they stealing something. They stealing your abundance or playing around in your energy. First of all, you're not even allowed to play in a priestess energy. Not this priestess. This priestess is chosen. You dig? This priestess is, is illumination. This, this is joy. This is life force. This is success. This is play. You got two cards that got play on it. This is your grandmother's in you. All immersed in you, you trust the weavings. This is remembering your roots. Like, you real. Okay? And about you being, like, something, like, negative or manipulation. And none of that. You're just talented. You're very talented. You dig? God has relieved your distress. It relieved a lot of your anxiety. You don't have no fucking anxiety. You just work hard. That's just it. That's just it. Some people are just naturally workhorses. And you ain't want to, like, fuck around with people while you was doing it because you knew what that would do for your energy. That's, like, energy siphoning. Like, so you don't want nobody being... You came out, you got... you With the priestess here, it's like... And you got abundance planning and you resting instead of fucking around, hanging out in the, in the clubs or in the parties or in the social scene or just hanging around people. It's like, I'm going to get some rest, you know? When I want to play, I'm going to make my responsibility. I feel like you made all your accountabilities playfully like you do it in a playful manner like you celebrated it a lot it's a lot of optimism okay and that priestess is like protected by viper stand back kind of thing remember dmx song get at me dog I, that song kind of is like you with the abundance planning so that's like dmx is a sagittarius okay okay so sagittarius is coming through during leo season you ain't give a fuck it's like i'm a, i'm Every day is, is celebratory for me. Like, sometimes you do need to slow down. You got two cars here talking about resting. Sometimes get out of the overwhelm and refresh and regroup in order to speed up your results. You mastered the, the fuck out of that. You know, excuse me for cussing, but you did. All right. Shuffle for Leo and all fire placements. This is my last, the last deck I'm using, I think. I say that now, and I just I keep going. I just keep going. People, like, spoke ill in your name, too. They tried to entangle you, and a lot of, they, deflect, they deflected a lot of their neuroses on you. You know, a lot of what people's opinions about you is just heavy projection, too. The eight, eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody wanted to take the easy way out. Oh, and this Queen of Swords is in reverse. 
So maybe this this moon in Aquarius and this moon in Virgo. That's these motherfuckers. Like you keep wanting to. You keep wanting the, the, the message to be different and it's, it's swaying the way it's supposed to sway. This Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who's a, a liar, a bitch, you know, somebody who's just very sharp with the tongue, very belligerent. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is, is not a workhorse. I just said something about being a workhorse and the Eight of Pentacles comes out in reverse. Like, that's somebody who is uh, not a hustler. That's somebody who, okay, so that's what, that's, that's what was said about, against you. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Babies came home from they home from school, so I had to, you know, attend to them. So when it comes to the Queen of the Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who is very ignoramus, if you will, because they're hyper intelligent. Um, they can have mental blocks, can have heightened, they can have a blocked intuition. They could also they're not very truthful, they're very belligerent with their words, like almost narcissistic. But as this is also someone who's in their jealous energy, could be a man or a woman. But it's a feminine energy with the queen. So the queen of swords in reverse and the eight of pentacles in reverse is like, I feel like your success is making them feel like they're not shit or something like that. Ace of swords, that's the truth. And that's in the upright. The five of pentacles is clarifying that. Yeah, what they what they wanted for you end up happening for them. Like the tables turned, and that's just it. And with that morning dew, the clarity, fresh start, positive outlook, you got the recipe to take you out of anything that is like poverty stricken or just really a lot of challenges with money. Uh, could be weight law, weight issues. Like you could be struggling to like lose weight or get healthy. You want to be healthier could be a lot of things that kind of like when it rains it pours or just like a domino effect or this area could like if you're struggling with finances for example you could be like stress eating or emotionally eating picking up weight you know the process is, was rough so that five of pentacles represents more than just like a poverty or abandonment like it someone wanted that for you but when they thought you were struggling through abandonment issues you were actually building something for yourself with the ace of swords like you got the mental clarity you got the pearl of wisdom when you were out there by yourself you weren't curled up in a sheet in the corner you were on you were standing ten toes even as the process got rough for you as it pertains to that five of pentacles and somebody's lazy with the eight of pentacles in reverse in the queen of swords like it's like somebody who runs game two of pentacles that's training that caters to that training card and the Queen of Pentacles, damn, a lot of Pentacles coming out, and Swords. So, someone got wind that not only are you thriving, you know, they turned the news on and fucked around and found out about you, you know, people are starting to look you up now. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is mature, stable energy, in shape, like they, when I, last time I saw you, you was in that five of pentacles like i don't know if they tried to clown you for it or try to make you feel like try to convince you that you should feel fucked up about yourself it didn't work okay you had the ace of swords you had the help of hand of god you had abundance planning to do you didn't give a fuck about what anybody had to say as it pertains to you and your queen of pentacles you're the high priestess and the queen of pentacles and that two of pentacles is like i can balance my my checkbook and my sex life at the same time. That's what I heard with the Two of Pentacles. It's like, I got an awesome sex life, an intense sex life with that priestess. It's like, y'all in that ethereal energy. And uh, well, as well as tangible. This is a lot of tangible success. It's like so much of your spiritual knowledge and your wisdom and your education, it turned tangible. So you don't have to do anything extra except rest and go play. The rest is taking care of itself. That's all you have. You done planted the seeds. You already did the abundance planting. Like it's not much else you had to do, and and you see how slowing down sped up your results. You don't have to be like it's not like you're not being a work a workhorse. Somebody who loves to like provide, who likes to get up and do something something else. Like what can I contribute? What can I provide for my family today? Like, and it's more than just money. You could be stronger in religion. You could be a better, you could be a better, a more stable parent, the more stable parent. You know, it, it, it could be anything. 
I also see with the Two of Pentacles note, somebody, people didn't know what to make of the experience, your experience, because it's, I don't know where people are getting their facts from at, with you, because you know, you're not around. Five of Swords is in reverse. The Sun is here again. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Death is card is in reverse. So there's like these are people who are just stagnant. One dimensional mindset. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So something is not a completion for somebody. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like everybody's in this card is holding hands and they group together like like in a community and they built this fruitful tree. That ain't the case. It's a lot of disloyalty. I see disloyalty on the death of transformation in reverse. For me, as I read it, it's twice as likely as it is in the upright. So there's, there's a, an alchemist energy. A death of transformation is Pluto energy. It's like, you ain't getting away with that shit. And I ain't got to get my hands dirty about it. The Six of Pentacles is unrequited. You dig? And the sun is, is illumination. Like that, you focus a lot on your solar plexus chakra and that five of swords in reverse is a yikes it would be defeat in the upright somebody has to apologize to you and instead of doing that as i was saying earlier they try to act like oh well they try to flip it like well you got this going for you you got that going for you it's like you don't really need nothing from us so why do we have to apologize? Now, I think that I feel like saying this with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright and that Queen of Swords in reverse, the old you would have punched him right in their fucking nose because because you're disrespectful. That's why. But instead, you got the let's see, the Seven of Wands is in reverse. I'm sorry, the Seven of Wands in the upright, the Eight of Cups is in reverse. Somebody they, they're not able to move on from this because they can't bounce back from it. Somebody insists on trying to argue with you. Like, you don't have the ambition to reach these heights. You have the pettiness to accomplish what you did, but you don't have the ambition to reach these heights. That's deep. That hits different. Worried about how it looks. Somebody was worried about the appearance of things more than the actual foundation. That's why the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands on top of the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like, reverse of fortune. You still end up being solid, no matter what, even when the Ten of Pentacles was in reverse. I feel like you got alienated or isolated about something. The Knight of Wands is verifying that Queen of Wands. So, people was quick to switch sides. Because it looked like the winning team over there. When you were going through your stuff. People was quick. Like they didn't think twice about it. Like they weren't hesitant or nothing. Like there's a lot of disloyalty on this board. Yeah. The hair font is in reverse. On one, and then you got the Queen of Cups. Unrequited. You, they wanted you to be empathic and show up you got all three queens except the queen of swords is in reverse okay they wanted you and somebody and you your person is in love with you you in love with your person you in love with your eccentricities because this queen of cups look fucking eccentric okay she do she does she's a nurturer like she naturally she just gives a shit with this queen of cups in the upright like she just gives a shit but she loves herself more so i don't know that doesn't even make sense how somebody was going to like dick ride your wave and try to steal an energy harkness off of you like you don't like you're not a grown-up a lot of feminine energy is on this board the hair in reverse is like that's not long term and that's a bad religious leader too that could be a bad leader of the community I see the Knight of Wands again with that hair font. It's like they could be just looking the part, but being a hypocrite. I mean, we all have hypocrisy at the end of the day, but a hair font in reverse is like not a religious leader. That's somebody who's not going off of what God said. They don't have a conviction. 
I had a conviction and a knight of wands is like I was just fucking these spiritually thirsty people. So somebody okay. So history is repeating itself. When you don't do the shadow work, it keeps it finds a way of keep resurfacing. It's it's history repeating itself. For some, for the one that crapped out, for the one that thought they could do what you they could steal from you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands want to come out again. Illumination. These people did stuff together and they got illuminated. Look, the Eight of Swords. Somebody's in spiritual prison. With the Five of Swords, it's like they cannot, like they don't, they kind of paranoid in a way. It gives them paranoid energy because they don't understand where all this went left. Now they feel like everybody like somebody's coming at them when in actuality if you was doing all that you put that nasty energy out you're the one that's going to benefit from it because you're the one that's doing it and then you got the knight of cups i want to somebody wants to come forward to you to make to make peace i think it's the man the knight of cups and the three of swords it's like You got every right to not take what I have to say. I'm re I'm reiterating how I see it. With this three of swords, like you have, I, I shut the door in your face for no fucking reason. You know, you have every right to not believe me when I say I apologize. You didn't deserve that. You know, you're not the person. You're not the enemy. But it did, you know, when it amused me to do this shit when I was fucking around and bullshitting and shit, seven of cups. Somebody misjudged you. I had all these different, they was coming at you in all these different ways. I see the seven of cups and this eight of swords and this five of swords in reverse. These are, they was coming at you from all different angles. The eight of swords does represent somebody attacking you and you don't see it coming. You didn't see it coming. Like he did that right in your face and you didn't see it coming. And it's behind a, a broken spirited bitch. At the end of the day, it got something to do with this is air, three of swords, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You dig? But this guy, this pertains to somebody who feels fucking rejected because you just not that type of vulnerable or gullible. I feel like you don't kiss ass. I feel like you too solid by yourself. You too you too whatever you do. You solid by yourself. And this person, I feel like somebody takes mushrooms with the Seven of Cups. Like, they just, they just fucked around. They just fucked up real bad with creating a domino effect of things to happen out of envy. This looks like envy. And they the ones that's, that's they got the door slammed in their face. It's like I slammed the door on you and locked it like you were going to come running. And now I can't. That's not a revolving door because I cannot open the door because I locked myself out. I put the lock on the door and shut it. I don't have a key to reopen it. And you're not coming back. So now I'm salty with the three of swords. The seven of cups is like that. You, you, you took the somebody needs to take the rose colored glasses off and it ain't you. It ain't you that's, that's, that's doing this nut ass shit, as they say. And the Eight of Swords is like, you're your own worst enemy. I feel like somebody's their own worst enemy with the Five of Swords in reverse. So it's like two air, this is two different people. Five of Swords, petty ass energy. Told you it's only a five and a five to be changed. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Like somebody was really like doing the most. And you release that negativity. It's like, I can get back. I can get you back. But... You stayed optimistic. That sounds like a pump move to say you stayed optimistic about your love life, but in actuality, you could you had too much to lose. You can't really go toe to toe with a five of swords in reverse and a queen of swords in reverse. They they stupid, just plain dumb. And then as I said that, the five of wands came out in the upright. They was in competition with themselves, okay, and the devil. That's irately jealous and competitive. And insecure but I see this five of wands looking at the devil as an influence a massive because this this girl on this devil card look eccentric like they were they could they're they're so addicted to your energy 
they couldn't stay away from you, but they, they envy you. Like they have mirrors on the Five of Wands card. So you mirror back to them how they're coming off at you. Even if it's energetic. If you're toxic, I'm going to show you you're toxic. Okay? So that's public humiliation with the Six of Wands in reverse. And that Ace of Cups underneath it. Yep. Now they're the ones left with all the dirty damages with the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Like how arrogant. That's very arrogant. And the Three of Pentacles. All they're collaborating against you didn't get them nowhere. Now they look crazy. They're actually going crazy because they par I said paranoid with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands came out. And it's public because the Six of Wands is in reverse. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. It's like you overdo it. Like you overly slutty, overly arrogant. You just, and the Three of Pentacles is right next to it. Collaborating with whoever for whatever to do whatever. Like why was you carrying out this mission, you know, and it ain't even your fucking beef in the first place. I get that. That's for somebody. And then the, the hangman is there. You put yourself in that situation. You could, you could have very easily just said no. And now you're stuck with the ten of wands. Like, you got exactly what you asked for. I heard she used to call me on my cell phone. And that's part of his lyrics. It's like, you got exactly what you asked for. Ever since I left the city, you, you did. It's like you switched. You changed. Oh, well. That... What did you need to know about that for is what I take away from all of this is it's going to be a public setting. It's going to be an event where people are going to try to take that as an opportunity to be more arrogant and paranoid and try to save face it's instead of being a fucking man about it. Even if there are females, be a man about it and goddamn apologize. Instead... You know, they're going to try to save face and it's going to backfire because you already know the truth. You know the influence you are already. So, fuck them. Congratulations. They couldn't convince you. They couldn't, they couldn't take your mind. They couldn't, like, infiltrate your mind because it looked like some manipulative shit, too, with the... With the, the, the King of Swords, the bird is talking to the, 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 the card. The card has a spider and a spider web on one. And the bird has like black fire. Or like they're burning everything up with their words, with their communication. Like, they, they, like they're trying to tear you down. And it just did not happen. They look fucking jealous. They look irate. Oh, and your person going to tongue you down in front of them too. Oh, y'all on that shit? We on that shit harder. Now, that person, and the person, like your person witty like you so they want to tongue kiss you right in front of them and, and take you you know okay like it gives me deliver us from evil when LL Cool J she saw her ex and LL Cool J came in just in time like he I, I was running late baby I'm sorry you know he was rubbing that shit in cause the ex was like fucking ignorant towards her like these are the kids and I'm so glad you broke Lucius's heart because I wouldn't have him now like they was being crazy you know you dig and that's how this motherfucker is, is trying to act towards you and you just remain poised and your man came right up he did walk up behind her and kiss her too he did okay so you you get it i ain't gotta say shit else don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time